Mason Hall over there too. And the fellow over there is making up a set. Now this set here, y'all, was made by a friend of mine back home in uh, Possum Holler there. Actually, he lives over near uh, Pickens, South Carolina. We got a place in Pickens called the Hay Good Mill. Hay Good Mill is a uh, <clears throat> an old time uh, water powered grist mill. It was built back in 1825, and they still run that thing every third Saturday of the you month. And uh, on the first Saturdays and the third Saturdays, we always go over and no, have some music over there. A friend of mine named Joda carves these out of one piece of basswood. He starts with a block. He cuts out the centerpiece here, and uh, and he uh, carves the rest of those things up by hand. See if I can get a little volume on my on my spooning thing here. I was looking for my carving, but he said he was going to carve me a great big set I could put my foot on. I have to find something to put my foot on half the time. I'm sitting down most of the days. See if I can get a little, a little bit more volume out of that, maybe. Hear those a little bit now? I tell you, they got not a really nice warm tone. Now you can do this, of course, with the regular spoons from the from the house there. I'll tell you the truth, though, most of the spoons that we have nowadays are made a little different than the old spoons. It, and it helps you if you can find yourself an old set of spoons. They're a little bit, I think they're a little bit better. These have a nice warm sound. And if you've ever wanted to play an instrument and you ain't got around to it yet, well, maybe this is the one for you. All you got to do is tap your toe to the beat of the music that you hear. And then start tapping that spoon. Take your other hand, bring it down till it hits it. Now you notice I got that pretty low down here, you know? Because if it's way up here, you have to do this. <laughs> and that's way too much work. <laughs> that's like going through the well, you know? Pumping that well water. So one thing that you want to do is keep it kind of low. And don't slap at it. A lot of people want to do that. That that just throws off the beat. So you keep it nice and low. Fairly steady. I like to move mine a little side to side. I can't help it. It's just in you. You know, you got to let it out. What you want to do is you count it like this. You count one and two and three and four. The and's always on your hand. And then you accent the two and the four a little bit like this. One and two and three. Sort of like a train. Makes it sound a little more musical. Till it sounds like it's a horse running out of the barn. Yeah. Then it gets really fast. All you gotta do is kind of make a little C shape with your hand. One down on your knee, right up into the fatty part of your thumb there. And then catch it with your fingers on the way down. Now then, once you get that down, you do this for about, oh, six or eight months. <laughs> All by yourself, you know, in the seat of the truck there. You'll be on your way. And, of course, a nice another little deal like that that gives you that same roll, a triplet, as they call it. You kind of get a march roll if you do this. Fan your hand out and then drag your spoons down your fingers and let them land onto your, onto your knee like this. Listen. And you're getting there. You can break it up a little bit on your, uh, well, your shoulder or your chest. You can, uh, hard to do without a long sleeve shirt, but you can get this same sound by coming down your arm. If you have a shirt on, it catches right in the, uh, right in the elbow there. And if you got a microphone on like this, you can pull one of these off and go. <laughs> and depending on how you're holding your mouth at the moment, you get a different sound. <laughs> Put it all together and you got a musical thing. What do you think? A musical instrument? Yeah. Yes. I'm, let's try a little bit of something different. Let's uh, got a good friend of ours at home played a little banjo piece for us. Let's see if we can do a little something with that banjo piece. Is that the one you got? Which one are you doing? Um, Either one. I can do Sally Ann or the Foggy Mountain. Let's do the Foggy Mountain. Is that the one you got yep. in there? Mm -hmm. Do the Foggy Mountain one? Yeah. This will be scary. Who knows what will happen. Let's see what we get at one time. We'll just clap along. Maybe. Yep. How about That's right. There, there you go. Comes. Put your hands together about right there. You can help me a little bit.
Thank you.